when you go into tools and I'm clicking on tools and you'll see over here do it yourself create and share your own activities quizzes and games do it yourself it's got piles of stuff but the one we're going to use is this one over here it's called shapes tessellations arrangement of shapes very very much part of part of grade 5 mathematics so if you these ones are pretty similar to that one so if you go to shapes launch app and you'll see that we can go on i'm going to choose the one with five shapes would be in my game five shapes one two three four five and this is going to be the background this white block this white square would be the background so i click on the white square and we go into drawing mode we're now in drawing mode i'm going to just click on this pencil and choose a color i'll go with green probably doing a landscape so you go with green there and paint bucket tool light green oh it made everything green so I'm just going to try extend that green over here you see if there's a little bit of space then the paint bucket tool won't it won't go everywhere so you've got to make sure that there's no little open spaces so I'm going to go again I'll just make that one yellow and this one a different green well that's okay it's fine and then we'll we make that one blue because the sky Puck, bucket tool probably the sun I'll just find the yellow not sure yeah that's yellow so put it over there bucket tool and I've got a sun all right that's the background now if I made any mistake I could always go back a step to undo the, whatever I did to go back a step so use this tool if you want to add in pictures you just click on that and you'll ch choose one of them and you could add in a picture to your background which I'm not going to do I'm not going to worry about putting in a picture I'm just going to take that away that's back I don't really want to put a picture in okay let's just put a little anyway I'll just change my picture then you guys will work out how to do that now I could I could add the shapes now so you can see you can change the shapes color you can even make your own shape so I'll go with this one and there's some of them come out, really become quite interesting when you do this type of thing look you got that interesting shape and you can do all of them like that you can even choose some of the other shapes that you want to use and you got that one we'll use a star circle and a triangle okay so my shapes now i want to tell people what to do when they interact with these five shapes and the background which is my tree all right so the background tree needs to have i'm going to ask them to color in the white in this so i'm going to go i now why did i go to i i is instructions it's telling people what they must do so I click on i and i'm going to go color color background background and I'm going to say in the instructions use the shapes to fill the background in interesting ways now when you do yours obviously you can make yours space rockets monsters anything you just be creative I'm just using this as an example and I'm sure you do understand that click on OK did you see I clicked on OK now I've got instructions now when you go on this stiffy disk this button over here look this blue stiffy disk that's to save so I go click on it and I'll go 5d 5d background full okay that's what I'll call it 5d background and I'll go OK now it's saved file saved OK right now I want to post it onto a blog I want every child in our school to be able to do this I'm going to now show you how you can make it that anyone in our school can play this activity. So you go onto that. Before you actually post it, you should go and play and see how it works. So start and just say, look, if you go over here, you can see it's going to work. And I forgot to mention that if you want to make any of the shapes bigger, you can just press the up arrow key on your keyboard. So that makes them bigger. And if you want to change the color, they can drag it on there. 
I could put that one there, drag that, or make that a blue, and I can make this one really big, and bring in an orange, fill the background. So it's working, my game works, so you should actually test it before you post it anywhere. Alright, now we're going to post it on the blog. Returning to my earlier point, posting to the blog. Click on this world shape. And you'll see already you are grade 5D. So look, your blog is already available. Yours should be showing 5D. You click on it. It says, are you going to want to submit to the display board? It's not really a blog that was called a display board. So I click on yes. It says successfully submitted. Click OK and OK. And then in a few minutes, it will be shown on the display board. So now if I want to show you how to put it onto the school blog so that every child in our school can play it. When you go into Purple Mash, go here. This little world, this little green sharing button, the sharing icon, click on it. And look over here, it says shared blogs. Shared blogs. When you click on shared blogs, Brian Evan Interson phase. And there's the blog. Look, you've got World Cup soccer, all this stuff. This is all the stuff. There's piles of stuff. 54 posts today. Look. Okay, so if I go to the plus sign, I put a plus sign. I click on the plus sign. I'm going to call it fill the background. Fill the background. And I'll say try my game. But you'll put your own wording in. Try my game to fill the picture. And I'll say a game done with 5b my apologies 5d in the last period and i'll just I'll try it out wonderful your teachers could even post things on this i'll make it nice and big because the writing probably needs to be a bit bigger and i'll go that size and then i'm going to go over here now when you click on these look if you click on that you can add a picture if you click on that it says work Picker. Now that means you can pick work that you want to put for other people to do. There you can get a hyperlink, a YouTube video, a picture, or you can send them to a website. And over here, Work Picker is going to put some of your work up for other people. So let's do it. I'm going to click on this little icon saying Work Picker. And it should help me to find my file when I search for it. So click on it and look there. It says My Work the first file so if I click on that it's active it should give me a little picture over here I click on choose and you can see it's loading it's there you can see my game is now ready so now when I click save saves very very quickly and it says fill the background you can already see it's there and all of you will be able to find that if you just click on the icon look over here the link let's click on the link again and my game opens. Any child from grade one to grade seven can play your game. So that means you have the ability to just publish all of your stuff. You can publish it and schoolwork, anything can be published for anyone else to see. It's very, very exciting because it means you can do a lot of things. I'll just show you. I'll go in as one of you and then I'll very quickly, I'm almost at the end, and then I'll go as impersonate one of you guys. You are 5D. And I'll just show you how you would go to that particular place. 5D. And I'm going to go to Savani. I'm going to be Savani. I'm impersonating. I'm acting now. I'm going in as if into Purple Mash. Look, I'm Savani now. This is what Savani would see. Look, there is an alert. Now, Savani wants to see what's on the blog. She goes to sharing this World Wide Web. You see the earth with this. Okay, so look over here. Here's the class blog. It should be 5D. I don't see it over here. I'll see if I can sort that for you. But if you go to shared blogs, Brian Evan Interson phase. And that's for everybody in the school. Great ones can post on it as well. So if you look over here, look what does it say? Look what Shivani sees. Fill the background. That's Mr. Bradley's game that he's just posted. So if you click on there, you can play it. Now you can do the very same thing that I've done. You paste your game in here as well. Now if you want to see if someone's posted anything your friends i'm going to see if she posted anything i go search the search box india and i go search and you can even search your friend's name india said a very pretty flower and she put some stuff over here 
So you can see there's two things she's posted. So if you want to find your friends, anyone can give me a name in grade 5A. Ingo, let's go with Ingo. Okay, so if I type in Ingo, let's see what if Ingo, a World Cup boy, and he wrote, hi, you to you, Brazil. And I don't know, a few people have already written like messages there on his stuff. So if you want to find your friend, use the search box. Always remember, blogs can sometimes have millions of posts. So if you want to search for something, see it. Bullying, I don't know, someone I think wrote about bullying. I don't know if it'll come up. Let's see. Bullying. So bully. Oh, there we go. Um, a guy called Uma wrote, bullying is a serious thing. So he's already got a topic about bullying. So if you feel you want to find the topic, you just type in bullying and you'll be able to find it. So if you read, you can see some people have written some stuff. You can add your comment about bullying. So blogs are a wonderful way for you to work with other people, to share in information, to collaborate. They call this collaboration. Very, very powerful. So when you go in, I showed you I'm Savani. You find this little green sharing icon will take you to that. But you're going to first of all do an activity in the do it yourself over here. And you're going to do what I've just showed you using shapes. And then when you've done that, you're going to post it to your blog. I think I've shown you everything that I need to for the moment. Good luck with the activity. I'm sure you're going to thoroughly enjoy it.